How do you make an object that always look at the camera? The answer is to watch this video. Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can make the object always look at the camera when rendered. Now many of you have probably heard of or thought of the technique of using constraint to make the objects look at the camera. However, this technique will only work for one camera and if you have like a bunch of objects, you will have to do this for every single object, which is tedious. So this technique is for amateur, okay? We are professional and we will not use this technique. Now there are actually two techniques to make the objects look at the camera. The first technique is to calculate the position of the object and the position of the camera and then calculate the vector between the two positions and rotate the objects to, to uh, match the vector, okay? However, this technique, although it is more precise, it is next to useless because it does not work for particles because all the particles will have to share the same rotation and more often than not one random particle will have the, the main rotation and the other particles will copy that rotation so all but one particle will have the wrong rotation and the second technique is to calculate the view direction of the camera and then rotate the, the models to the opposite direction okay this technique will work for particles. All the models will have the correct rotation. Alright, now let's jump to Blender. And here you can see I have a camera facing displacement node. And let's go ahead and delete that and create that node uh, from the beginning. Now before you can begin to create the node, you have to go to the material tab and go down to the settings of the material and in the displacement change to displacement only or displacement and bump okay now this it's not this displacement okay it's the displacement setting under the settings menu okay displacement only now i will not explain the math in details because most of you are probably not interested so for those of you who are interested in the math i will make another video explaining the math later okay so let's begin to create our node group we start with a uh, combine XYZ node and set one to the Z value, like so, and create a vector transform node and transform from camera to world vector and connect this to the vector input. Now, this will produce the color like this, and it's actually not a color, this is the camera direction vector, okay? So this is the camera vector, okay, and we will rotate the object to the opposite of this vector, okay. So now we have to calculate the opposite direction of the vector by using a vector math node. And change this to multiply, and multiply minus 1 to x and y values, and leave the z value as 0 because we don't, we don't want the z dimension, okay. Now since the z dimension is gone, we have to normalize the vector in order to continue with our calculation. Now you can see if we look from uh, the, the front view, the, the values will be pitch black. And if we look from the back view, we have some values. Okay, So this, these pitch black values, they are actually negative values, not just black. Okay, Create a separate XYZ node, like so. And create a math node, like so and connect the x value over to the math node and change this to absolute and copy this math node change this to divide and divide the absolute value with the original x value this will either produce 1 or minus 1 depending on whether or not x is larger than 0 okay now copy this math node and change this to arc sine there we go and connect y over and add this with uh, half pi. Okay, so pi divided by 2 is half pi. And then we can multiply these nodes together like so. This will be our z rotation. So create a combined xyz node and connect this to the z dimension, I mean the z value input. Alright, now we have the rotation values. 
so move everything down a bit now create an input texture coordinate node and use the object texture coordinate okay create a mapping node and connect the object coordinate to the vector input and connect this to the rotation input there we go now this node will spit out the new position of each vertex okay but we don't want the new position for the vertex we want the distance of travel okay so in order to do that we simply subtract the new position with the original position I mean subtract there we go so this is the distance of travel and finally we create a vector displacement node and connect this to the vector input and change this to the object space there we go and connect this to the displacement and now you can see the objects are looking at the camera properly so let's create a diffuse shader there we go and uh, maybe change this to some other color so it doesn't matter which camera you are using the objects will always look at the camera alright so create a camera and test if it is correct control alt 0 to set the camera to the viewport and lock the camera to view and position it somewhere like so and disable the lock and render and you can see the object are looking at the camera and uh, let's try again and now the objects are looking at the viewport camera and, and not the other camera anymore so everything is working properly alright that's it for the tutorial I hope you find this technique useful and I will also include this in the cycles of stylized material set on my gumroad I'll put the link in the description if you bought the set uh, before, now you can download an updated version which includes a uh, camera facing note. Okay, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.